everybody, welcome back. We're doing the uh, LDA tutorial video here now. We're going to get into icing conditions just a little bit as well. Um, so, today we're going to be flying the LDA Zulu in the Ronald Reagan Airport, runway 19. And LDA is a little bit unique uh, because it's a uh, offset localizer, usually, or a localizer offset the runway. Um, this requires us to uh, fly the approach using a localizer mode with no vertical guidance on this particular. So, there's a couple key notes we need to take into, into account when we're flying an LDA approach, um, and we'll cover those in our arrival briefing. But first things first, let's talk about how we set up the approach. So we're going to set the approach up just like a standard ILS approach. You can see here I've got runway 19X19-Z for the Zulu approach. Remember the difference between a Zulu and a Yankee is just that there's multiple approaches with different minimums or different final approach courses. So we'll pay keen attention to that. We'll notice the difference between the Zulu and the Yankee and the DC plays into the minimums. Alright, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start spinning us around and get us kind of back towards the airport a little bit. Uh, so let's go like a 0 3 for now. We're slowing down to about 220 as well, just trying to maintain a good speed here. Uh, see the turbulence is messing with our altitude just a bit. But back to the approach. Uh, so we're going to uh, effectively fly the approach the exact same way that we would an ILS, except we're going to use FPA for our vertical guidance inside the final approach fix. We're authorized to use LNAV up to the final approach fix. From the final approach fix inbound, you'll have to use the localizer. Uh, and the same thing is uh, said with VNAV. You can use VNAV path to descend up to the final approach fix, at which point you need to transition to a green descent mode, either flight path angle or vertical speed. Flight path angle is the preferred uh, preferred method because you've got your vertical track and it's easier to align the aircraft with the vertical track using flight path angle. But that's entirely your choice. Uh, let me get us direct to four B again if I can. I didn't want to do that. All right, I'll go direct to uh, tell them. Activate that. And I am going to uh, fly direct to tell. Them. Okay, so we got some time to discuss what's going on here with the airplane for the approach. So, through our briefing, let's go down to our minimum section. We see an MDA of 720, so we need to flip our selector to uh, the barrel, and we're going to set 720 for the barrel mids. Now, just like our other non-precision approaches, we're not authorized to we, we, sorry, we can't set 720 in the altitude window, so we're going to need to bug that up to 800, so we can set that in the altitude window, so it's pretty high. I'm going to start slowing us down a little bit to help us out with the explanation of the approach. Below 230, let's go flaps to 1, and down to 2300 feet. So from here, we're, uh, we're set up for that approach pretty well. Uh, we're in an LNAV course, still going direct to Hattel, and we're going to fly the LNAV until we get inside of Hattel or sorry, Besky, the final approach fix. We can review our missed approach procedure. Climbing rate turned to 3,000 outbound on the 185 radial to Baden and hold at Baden at 3,000 feet, so we're going to bug 3,000 as we get a little bit closer. Continue to reduce the speed to about 180. And I'm going to keep flaps at 1 so I can use my speed brakes to help me out here. Now with approaches like this, everything you can do to get yourself a little bit ahead of the airplane is going to help you out, and so we're going to set the auto brakes so we don't have to worry about that once we roll out. Additionally, we need to go ahead and verify our auto tune. It should be set to IVWH, and I see that on both sides, and I can allow my preview to come up. And I uh, didn't have... Uh, what was that? Oh, speed brake lever disagree. That's the throttle coming up below 70%. Flaps to 2. Alright, we can see 145 is going to be our final approach course, even though the runway heading is going to be a 190 or 185 heading. That's the offset localizer coming into play. So let's talk about icing conditions a little bit now that we're joining the approach. We can see now we're in an icing condition. The engine, the anti ice 1 and 2 valve is open and the wing valve is open. Because we have that stall probe ice speed, we need to increase our landing speeds. Uh, so our normal VREF today is 125. We're going to have 135. We've added 10 knots to both VREF and V approach, and we leave VAC alone. Uh, that's to compensate for potential ice buildup on the aircraft that might not come off, be it on the, uh, the uh, 
uh, heated surfaces such as the inboard slats and the, uh, the tail of the aircraft. So now I hope we're going slow enough in explaining this well, but uh, we're lining up here at Hattel. We're at 2300 feet. We're going to do on this approach uh, what we call diving and driving, which means we're going to dive down to our minimum altitude, level off, and then continue uh, to do that all the way down. Some approach, or some of these approaches, if you use VNAV, you can uh, do a uh, continuous descent angle descent. Uh, I think the European guys refer to those as CDAs. That's what we try to do in the U.S. all the time, like not descending and leveling, descending and leveling, but it doesn't always happen. So our next point, our tell point is uh, established. We know we're going to cross that at 23, so we verify the next point is Bessie at 1,700 feet, and we have that set. Go ahead and drop the landing gear and slow it down. So there are sequences on to Bessie. We're going to descend at 3 degrees with the FPA. Pull this up so we can get a better idea. Flaps 3. And we can see we're in FPA and we're lined up here with our uh, vertical track. Now that we're inside the, uh, or coming up on the final, we're going to select approach. Actually, we're going to select nav because we don't want to attempt to use a false glide slip there. A glide slip that might exist, we don't have one. So we're going to select nav for the localizer. Bessie is uh, set here at 1700. Let's uh, go flaps to 5, slow down to V approach. No one doesn't want to do that. But we're going to get high, so we need to go ahead and start going down. We've put 1100 feet down 3 degrees, and we'll worry about the speed later. Now we've lost on the pilot flying side the vertical track. On the pilot monitoring side we still have a vertical track and we can see we're high. So we're going to continue the descent now. Now we're inside the final approach fix with WIF who is assured, so we're going to bug 800 feet for our MDA. Still just a little fast, the aircraft's not quite wanting to slow down. Manipulating our descent path with our FPA we see that we're high so we're going in to increase our descent angle down to uh, about three and a half degrees. Now, looking out the window, we can see we've broken out of the clouds. Uh, from this point, we can proceed visually to the runway, and we're going to go ahead and disconnect Auto that autopilot Auto before it tries to altitude select and level off here at our minimums. Now we need to bug our missed approach altitude of 3,000 feet. Approaching minimum. And that is set. So guys, that's how you fly a localizer. Minimum type directional Throttle. approach in LDA. Throttle. It's a tough approach to fly. It messes with a lot of people because there's a lot going on. The key things to remember, uh, make sure your altitude is always bugged to fix in advance and you're manipulating that course with your uh, uh, FPA tool. Now for the rest of the LDA approach here, it's a, visually, a visual approach that you continue inbound. Just a little fast, I'm working that out. Now here is a little confusing tidbit to mention. If you follow our flight director here, it's way off. So a lot of times we'll just turn that off once we get inside. And uh, definitely not a perfectly executed uh, river visual approach here. A little bit of overshoot, no doubt. And uh, if this was the real world, I'd probably go around, but thankfully it's not. 50, so we're going to continue pounding 30, on. 20. Yeah. So guys, thanks for paying attention watching our video today on the LDA approach. Hope you learned a thing or two. Have a good one.